The human hand is one of the most important tools in the workplace. It is also vulnerable to injuries and ranks high among all occupational injury types. Many standards have been created to protect hands from hazards such as cuts, punctures, and chemical exposure. Yet there has been no standardized approach to protect the hand from impact hazards. The ISEA is the International Safety Equipment Association that advocates for safety in work environments. One of the goals for the ISEA Hand Protection Group was to raise awareness of the need for a thorough approach to protect hands from the wide range of impact hazards. One impact standard currently on the market was the, the European standard, which just basically gave a pass-fail impact protection or no protection. We wanted to expand from that and give uh, performance levels so people can categorize a light impact glove from a heavy-duty glove. And we also wanted to cover the fingers as well as the knuckle, knuckles because fingers are very commonly injured as well. In 2019, the ISEA published the 138 standard for performance and classification for impact-resistant gloves. This established three classification levels for gloves designed to protect from impact hazards. Level 1 will be the lowest rating for impact protection, and level 3 will be the highest. We, we've differentiated into three categories of gloves. The, the, the lighter weight protection gloves need to be under 9 kilonewtons. Uh, the middleweight or level 2 needs to be under 6.5 kilonewtons, and the heavyweight protection needs to be under 4 kilonewtons. The performance of an impact glove is determined by how much average transmitted force is measured. A low transmitted force measurement indicates a more protective glove. The 138 standard uses an impact tester, which is a machine that releases a 5.5 pound striker from a set height along a vertical path onto a prepared glove. The glove is marked in four locations. Uh, to do so, you put the glove on your hand and you mark where each knuckle is, and those are the areas that are tested. The uh, fingers are alternately measured at one inch and two inches from the tip of the fingers. So you do the five fingers at different, different areas of measurement. So we get some that are near the tip and some that are, are back near the knuckle. Uh, that gives us, uh, we feel, a good average of the overall finger protection and doesn't allow one area or the other to be the, uh, what, what gets rated. Then we cut the glove in half, so the upper portion of the glove will go on the, the uh, impact anvil. Um, this way we're only getting the force between that transmits through the bumper, through the glove, into the hand. We want the force transmitted measurement to be as close to real life as we can. Peak transmitted force will be recorded by a force transducer under the anvil. The highest average transmitted force between the tests is recorded. For example, if the knuckle rating is a 2, but the fingers rating is a 1, the glove will be classified as a 1. To be compliant with ISEA 138, gloves must be tested in an independent ISO certified lab. Gloves must also display the rating icon that indicates the level of impact protection. The benefit of this new impact standard is that customers can compare glove performance using a standardized measure of protection. Given the variety of impact hazards in the industry, users have more options for their hand protection. <laughs>